We're at the Wig Standard Building today to talk to Jan Murphy about a special wrestling event coming up in Kingston. I can't, it's such a family. When I first started into this, you know, all I did was write. All I wanted to do was interview wrestlers and hear about how they got into this weird business because it's very strange. It's a traveling circus, like a sports circus is the best way I can describe it. Wrestling is at its very core and just sports entertainment. It's athletic entertainment. Last year, I remember looking around the front, you know, the front rows in one section you had, you know, mom, dad, two young children. You looked over on the other side and you had a brother and sister who were like 70 and 85 years old. Uh, it, it's fantastic. A lot of uh, interaction between the wrestlers and the crowd. Um, a lot of very generous and talented wrestlers from the area, and actually from Ontario, some are even coming up from the United States, to come and have fun. Uh, Chinlock Wrestling is uh, the company that I run with, uh, with my partner, business partner Justin Cousino, and it's a charity pro wrestling event to, at, on December the 2nd. So Youth Diversion Kingston is the main recipient of our event, which would be the ticket sales and our silent auction. We will be holding, once again, holding a toy drive. Um, we have yet to announce who the beneficiary of the toy drive will be. Last year it was Immigrant Services Kingston area. Um, so the special thing about the toy drive is if you bring a toy, a new toy of $20 value, or you make a $20 donation to the toy drive itself, you get a chance to get a, a photo with our special guest and an autograph from our special guest who is WWE Hall of Famer Ricky the Dragon Steamboat this year. Our big draw of course is, is Mr. Steamboat uh, who has agreed to come here and is actually looking very forward to this event. Uh, we have former WWE referee Jimmy Corderas back again. Jimmy's come every year to this show to support us. We have some local wrestlers, CJ Felony, uh, Catalyst, we have KL Shocker, we have uh, Grizzly Gym owner Mike Martell making his wrestling, professional wrestling debut in our uh, Chinlock Championship Rumble. So that's the, that's the signature event this year. Gino's Pizza do, you know, allowed us to purchase championship belt to, to uh, have this event. So we will crown our first Chinlock heavyweight champion in a 30 person Royal Rumble per se so you know 30 people enter the ring and the last person to remain in the, in the ring having eliminated all the other opponents will be the new champion you know I was told after the show last year that the money that we raised which was about eight thousand dollars would you know help pay for some youth in Kingston to go enjoy programs that their families maybe wouldn't otherwise be able to to help them, you know, enjoy. So to me, that's kind of important. I have kids, you know, I have two girls. I, as any parent wants to see their children be able to do the things that maybe they couldn't do when they were younger, or, you know, in today's economic world, maybe, you know, everybody's living paycheck to paycheck, or you just can't, you know, you just can't afford a certain program and you want your kids to be able to, uh, to enjoy that. So youth diversion is great. They've been, amazing to work with and at this stage of my life I'm 41 years old I'm a lifelong wrestling fan as you probably might have seen uh, and, and funny enough most of this artwork over here is done by an artist by the name of Rob Schamberger who's a, an artist in uh, a Kansas City artist we were flying Rob up to do Rob will paint a live painting an original at the show of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, and Ricky will then sign it, and we will auction that off for, for charity as well. I've met so many kind-hearted and generous people in, in pro wrestling. Of all 
the celebrities I've encountered in my life, and I've interviewed, you know, television stars and people in music. Pro wrestlers are the, are the most giving of their time and their abilities and the, the, the skills that they were that they, they were given. It's it's a lot of fun. It's a it's a I must emphasize it is an all ages event. There will be no nothing that is inappropriate for, for children. It'll just be a whole lot of fun and I, I promise uh, a good, for, for a good cause. So bring a toy, you know, meet Ricky Steamboat, have a good time. It's good, it's gonna be fun. It sounds like a fun evening and for a good charity. To find out more, visit their website. For K-Town Source, I'm Donna Chambers.